In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to Odoo. So I'm going to use a domain that I've registered on Hostinger, but you can use any domain that you've registered on any domain registration company. And I'm gonna make individual tutorials for those companies, right? So first you need to go to Odoo. Now, once you're logged in, go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, then go to my databases. And here you'll see your database. In my case, it is a website, right? And we're gonna click on the settings and then we'll go to domain names. Now actually connecting a domain is quite easy. So click on use my own domain because we've already registered the domain on another website. In my case, it's Hostinger. I'm also gonna log into Hostinger and that will take me to the dashboard. Now here's where this is gonna differ depending on what domain registration company you've used. Now you need to go to domains, obviously, then go to your domain portfolio and find the domain you want to connect. Now I'm gonna connect knowledgebasehub.com. So I'm gonna click manage and I'm gonna copy the domain and that will save me from typing it. So now we've got the domain copied. You wanna to go to this box, type in www dot and then paste in your domain. So you want your domain to be here. Now what we need to do is we need to create a CNAME record and point it to whatever it says here. So you need to point it to your database. So mine is knowledgebase-test.odoo.com. Yours will obviously be different, but it will say what you need to point it to here. It's going to generate the SSL certificate by itself, and it's gonna generate it automatically. So all we need to do is create a CNAME record. So we'll go back to Hostinger, and we're in the back end of my domain. Again, this is gonna be slightly different. So you wanna to go to DNS slash name servers, and then you need to manage your DNS records, so get to the place on your domain registration company where you can add a DNS record. Now we're gonna to go to type, we're gonna change it to CNAME, and then for the name you wanna type here www, and then for the target you need to copy whatever it says here. Mine is knowledgebase-test.odoo.com, so I'm gonna copy this. Now we can go ahead and add this in target. Now if you get this message and it says that the resource is conflicting with another one, you just need to go and find that resource. So here is that resource for me, we've got CNAME, www. Now this is what we need to remove. So we'll go ahead and delete this, because you can only have one, and then this should now work. Then we can add this record. So now that DNS record has been successfully created, we can now go back to Odoo and go ahead and verify this and it's done it straight away for me. It might take a couple of minutes for you, so just be patient, just follow that to a T, and if you've done that exactly, it will work. And now you can click, I confirm it's done, and your domain will be set up. Don't worry now, because if you try and go to your domain, you may have an SSL issue, like mine is fine, but you may have an SSL certificate issue, but just be patient, because that can take up to five hours for it to work. Now, if you wanna be sure that you've done everything correctly, you can go to a website like dnschecker.org and if you paste in your domain here, now, if you wanna be sure that you've done this correctly, you can go to a website like dnschecker.org, you can paste in your website and as long as these are all green, it means everything is connected successfully. You're just gonna to have to wait for Odoo to generate the SSL certificate, I do believe. But that's how you do it, it is very easy. I hope that quick video helped you out.